Here we go again. It's time to get to Hammers. Yep. And the kittens are out front and center in Keanu with Key and Peele. Yes, sketch comedy masters Key and Peele uh, making their big screen foray, I would say. And um, one of them goes through a breakup and uh, finds an abandoned kitten on his doorstep, and then his place gets broken into. The kitten is stolen, so they have to team up and go find Keanu. Nice setup. Take a look. My name is Shark Tank, and uh, I ran hurdles in high school, and I like to hold my gun like this. So that's me. Um, tectonic. I once shot two dudes with one bullet, and I went to an exclusive early screening of the Blair Witch Project. You did? Yeah. I did not know that. I think you were at that screening too, Paul. I believe so. Back in the day. All right, break it down. Does the magic that we saw on the show on the small screen deliver on the big screen? It does. I mean, you see it in that clip demonstrated so well. These guys have amazing chemistry together, and it's that bromance thing that sort of works. Oh, the cat is adorable. I think there were seven cats, actually. Seven kittens they use for this. Kittens, yeah. And uh, the character of Keanu is, is uh, features prominently well in the movie. But they're so good together, these guys. And um, I love the fact that they play sort of button-down suburban types, but then they have to pretend to be gangsters. So that worked really well. Well, lend itself to some great comedy. There's a hilarious running gag with George Michael in the film about uh, one of their obsession with him. And um, yeah, you see Will Forte there. There's a, there's a good supporting cast here as well. So some solid gags. It's a very thin premise because ultimately it's just about them trying to get the cat back. So I, I feel at times like the 100 minutes was a little bit stretched thin. Um, but uh, there was also some well uh, well staged action in the film, and it didn't rely on raunch for the comedic laughs. Jason Mitchell, who um, played Easy Ian straight out of Compton Tonic in this movie, that was a bit of a throwaway. Yeah. We chatted with Key and Peel coming up at 8:20. Uh, how many hammers are you going to give this movie? You know what? If you're on the fence about Key and Peel, I would say go see this. If you're already a fan, uh, you're not going to hesitate. But uh, I did have some problems with it. However, I'll go with a respectable three out of five. The magic was there, and how? If you love kittens, this one's for you. Oh yeah, there's lots of kitten stuff. Patrick Stewart raising hell in the green room. Yeah, this is green room. Okay, so Anton Yelchin is part of this punk band, and uh, they have to take this gig. They're desperate for. So they go to an Oregon roadhouse that's run by neo-Nazi skinheads and they witness the aftermath of a crime and then they basically get taken hostage in the green room of this roadhouse and Patrick Stewart is the leader right. of this gang and it's you beautifully shot. Gang. I mean, you see it here, but this is Man, a straight up horror flick. I mean, you've got graphic violence, white knuckle tension and several very effective jump scares. I mean, this has a lot of promise. The screenplay lacked a lot of finesse and I think the characters weren't as fully examined um, as I would would have liked, but this is a dirty, pulpy, effective genre thriller. Not for everyone, though. Some stomach-turning violence in this one, uh, but if that's something you like and, and you're into the horror genre, and it's an interesting mashup of sort of punk music uh, with uh, with the modern-day, uh, you know, politics of these skinheads. Very chilling, very effective, but um, I did have a couple of issues with it, similarly to Keanu. Patrick Stewart has a future as, as the key villain, you think? Oh, he's pretty spooky. Yeah, he does a great job. They're all excellent, and uh, again, it was so well edited, very crisp, very taut, and uh, gorgeously shot. Shot. So, despite some issues, I can recommend it. I'm going to go with three out of five. Okay. Bam. There you go. Okay. Nice range at the box office this weekend.